you know that there's three major impacts I want to create for you. Number one, I want to impact your business. I want to be able to increase the number of deals and ultimately the amount of revenue that you put in your pocket. So if you're open to that, if you're open to increasing the amount of money that goes into your business, I'm talking like if you're doing 100,000, you want to take it to 200, 200, you want to take it to 400. If you're open to that idea, put a yes in the comments. Now, part of growing that business, write this down, success happens through community where most agents get stuck if they get beyond level one agent, which is $50,000 a year or less, they get beyond that, they usually will peak at a level three, which is 20 to 40 transactions a year, somewhere around 150 to $250,000 because of this word. Write this down, leverage, realtors, agents, small business people, they become slaves to their business and the whole reason they got into the real estate in the first place isn't even happening. We got in for a couple reasons. One, more money, and two, more freedom. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Put a yes in the comments down below. But level three agents, they actually get less freedom, like the whole reason they came into the business, and they actually end up broke because of their financial management situation. They end up buying so many liabilities, they have to become slaves to their business to keep paying for the liabilities. Second thing that happened last week at the Mastermind was we focused on financial freedom. For those of you guys who were there, did we not create some massive impact in this area? This is where passive residual income pays for your desired lifestyle, and there are six major spots when it comes to our financial freedom. Number one, cash flow management. Every dollar that comes in, we gotta know how to manage it. And if we can't do it with a dollar, we'll never do it with a million dollars. Number two, financial literacy. We've got to take the stewardship, the ownership of our own financial education. Number three, this is where all realtors fail, obsess over buying assets and creating assets. Too many of y'all are buying liabilities, taking money out of your pocket. That's create what's what creates your slave work into your business. The fourth thing is tax-free wealth. I blew the roof off like the whole container. Dustin came in from Inside Tax and we really opened it up at the mastermind on how to maximize your tax-free wealth. In fact, if you're able to save $10,000 a year on taxes for the next 10 years, it's $100,000. What are you gonna do with an extra $100,000 this next decade? How are you going to reinvest that into your financial freedom? That's the quickest way to do it. Number five is asset protection. What we talked about was generational wealth. And I know this is beyond a lot of your guys' capacity to think, but one of the things we wanna be able to do is create an amazing future for our posterity, for our kids and our grandchildren. And it's through a practice that we talked about, like the Rockefellers, do being able to use whole life cash value policies to constantly perpetuate the family trust fund, which is freaking freaking awesome. It's way beyond what we're going to talk about in here, but really to protect the assets along the way that we are creating, we're working so hard for. Number six is our emotional state management and our financial blueprint. So we discussed that, but then the third area at the mastermind was personal fulfillment. How do I enjoy the journey? Because it's not about like Kayla, who's a part of our mastermind said, it's about getting to the top of the map, uh, to the mountain. There never was a mountain. It was about taking that next step in our own personal journey and being okay with it, accepting ourselves, accepting where we're at and being fulfilled and dealing with what are we avoiding not facing. It might be avoiding not facing where I need to get on the phone and prospect. It might be dealing with I'm avoiding not getting my, my marketing plan together. It might be I'm avoiding not hiring that next person or dealing with some certain systems or dealing with my taxes or, or even taking ownership of my own financial literacy or maybe doing that next part into my business. We have to identify it for us through specific techniques that we went over. One of them was called holotropic breath work. And for those of you guys never heard of it, you never done it, you're probably like, I don't even know what this guy's talking about right now, that's okay. But it blew the minds and the hearts open of our mastermind members and it created so much impact. In fact, we have people walking away saying it's the best event that they've ever been to. It's, 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 it's I came in with one expectation, I left with my expectation exceeded with what I needed, not what I thought I wanted. And that's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sell you guys what you want, but I'm gonna deliver what you need. Growing your business, impacting your financial freedom, and being fulfilled to your core, truly fulfilled to your core with your emotional state of love, of joy, of bliss, of excitement. How many of you want this? More peace? and tranquility because here's the emotion that most people are experiencing, 
anxiety, doubt, worry, stress, frustration, irritation, impatience. If you're even depressed or powerless, like you're just like so overwhelmed with this, like you're not even dealing with it and you just don't even want to be alive anymore, right? What I want you guys to be able to do is I want you to be more than alive. I want you to be fulfilled no matter what's going on because what we do is we create plans, effective plans to our life management to reach a specific target. That plan gets fucked up. What we learned at the mastermind my plan's gonna get jacked up over and over again. How many of you guys have created plans that constantly get fucked up? That's normal. What we wanna be able to do is constantly be able to create new effective plans to move forward, and we wanna give ourselves permission to succeed with our business, our finances, and our personal fulfillment, with whatever that is for us. So here's what I need you guys to do now. I need you to go to www.thewtrmastermind.com and fill out your application. Like, listen, if you wanna grow your business, if you literally want to become a business owner instead of just the operator, if you want financial freedom where your passive, your residual income pays for your desired lifestyle. And finally, if you wanna be fulfilled in the journey, because I know so many people that have great businesses and great finances, but they're fucking miserable to the core. If you wanna be fulfilled to your core, like you wanna be able to smile, no matter what the bullshit is that's going on, that's you. If you wanna face those things you're not facing, go apply. Jen just said, so grateful I joined the WGR Mastermind recently. She was there blew her mind, and guys, get, uh, get this, she was on the fence for like two or three months about joining. Jen, uh, like, am I right? You're on the fence and then you finally did it. The only regret that I bet she has, and tell me if, if I'm right or if I'm wrong, Jen, in the comments, the only regret was she didn't step up and do it sooner. These are the types of things that we must do as committed individuals. It's not about doing life without fear. Fear is gonna come up. Committed individuals, they do things not without fear, but in spite of it. Interested people in their business, in their finances, and in their personal fulfillment, they let fear dictate the actions they don't take, thus reinforcing the negative beliefs inside of their unconscious mind, inside of their bodies, having more physical ailments, having poor habits, and ultimately never becoming free, but becoming more and more captive to their own belief systems. And when we become captive of our own belief systems, we really are doing completely opposite of what the whole purpose we got into real estate was. It was to make more money, it was to have more freedom. If the word freedom resonates with you, then this is what you gotta do. You gotta go apply at the Mastermind. Thank you so much for being here. You can reach out to several of the Mastermind partners because they're always talking inside of the, the, the Academy. They're talking inside of the Alliance. And I'm so grateful for every one of you guys that are part of there. Thank you for blessing my life for three days. I cannot wait till November in our next in-person Mastermind. And also, if you guys haven't already heard this September, the summit's coming up. We haven't even, tickets are not on sale. There will be a wait list. So if you wanna be on that wait list, let me know because you have to put your name and email in to let the information go. I do know this, I do know it's gonna be in Dallas and I do know that Ricky Carruth has confirmed and I do know that Brian Cassell and Chase DeMoss have confirmed that they will be there speaking at the event. So that's what I have so far. So if you wanna keep up to date on those details, it's gonna be a rock star two day summit event, 100% focus on your skills, your schedule and the systems and the how to to grow your business and go through those five levels of real estate agent. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you guys later.